Hey guys, it's Orbstone. Today we're going to another V15 trading method and today's method will allow you guys to make a lot of profit. Before I go into the video, a lot of you guys have been asking me like should I invest in this player, should I invest in this player. So I thought to myself it could be a good idea every single week to make a video about who you should invest in from the current team of the week. So this is the current team of the week, so I will be making a video today telling you guys who I think you should invest in. And if you guys like to see me do this every single week, let's get 100 likes on this upload and I will make a video next week about the best players to invest in. So 100 likes for that, as I think it will help you guys out a lot. Also, if you guys are watching this and not subscribed, I do recommend you guys going to do so. I'll do daily few 15 trading tips and series and everything to do with trading in general. So hopefully you've hit that subscription button right now and hopefully you will not regret it. So let's go straight into this. Now, there are quite a few players which stick out with me. One of them being Salvio. He's really good. AC rated, 89 pace, 86 dribbling. And I'll show you guys this price right now. A subscriber actually told me if he should invest in this guy. And I said yes, because he is really, cheap for his price and I can easily see him going to over to 30k so if I go show, show you Eduardo Savio right now you can see here you know, he goes about 17k right now you can probably get him for a bit cheap in that if I'm honest really cheap amounts and the great thing about this like you might be asking me so who cares who actually cares about informers why are they so good so when a inform is in the team of the week basically they're in packs so a lot of them are going to be going to be packs however when they go out of packs obviously there'll be less and less of them on the market because when someone buys them they'll not be replenished and this basically means that there'll be less of them on the market and people will stop pinning up for higher higher price and people will have to pay that price because they won't be able to pack them and there won't be any more coming on the market and that's why the price is always rise of informs and this guy is pretty cheap i think you can go for about 40 50k um, if you tried, probably 17k is probably about a guarantee, but you can go for quite cheap from what I've found. And obviously he is still in this week's team of the week, so he is going to be quite cheap. And I, as I said, can see him easily, easily going up to 30k plus. He's a great one to invest in. If you go back over to it right now, you, you'll be able to see a lot more. So if you go over to the team of the week right now, another player is this guy here, Elia. Recently transferred to Southampton. Hopefully I can, I uh, can't do that. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can go into the transfer market just like that um, through here. But Elia is a great one because, you know, he plays in the Premier League, recently transferred as well. And he's got great pass, great pace, sorry, great dribbling. And it's just, it's just those kind of players. And the great thing as well with Salvio is he has a good nationality and so does Elia. Um, the Netherlands is a good nationality to have any player in the good league. Um, Salvia plays in an old cage league. The Portuguese league isn't really recognised. Uh, but Elia, once again, will go for quite a bit. Oops, this could be okay. Uh, but basically, yeah, that's pretty much it. You'll be able to make a lot of profit from Elia and also Salvio, in my humble opinion. Another player which I recommend, and this is for you guys who have a lot of coins, is Diego Costa. Second in form, Diego Costa. Now, he is going to be pricey if you go check his price right now. And I do believe Diego Costa will be in line for a basically an, up, an upgrade, I think, because he's played quite well this season. Obviously, he's been really good. So I can definitely see Costa getting like a plus one upgrade or a plus two upgrade. You can see here he goes for 1.8 million coins, okay? But I would say if you are willing to buy one of him or maybe even, even his first inform card, but he is very expensive because people do believe he will get an upgrade. But if you do choose to buy him, which, you know, I think you should, and I think the best way for you to make a lot of profit off him is to sell him within the first hour when he does get an upgrade. Because you can see he's quite pricey and um, probably getting for like 1.9 million. So basically what you want to do is you want to sell him within the first hour of the upgrades being released. Because this is normally what happens. Upgrades are released and then normally the price peaks of players. So Costa might peak at like 2.5 million, maybe like 3 million. Because he's going to be a pretty big card and a lot of people will want to obviously want to use him. Um, so that's when you pretty much want to sell him. Because after it peaks, it will drop rapidly. Just think about what happened to McGeady last year at the Irish Cup. And this will be similar, especially to Alexis Sanchez and Lacazette for sure. But Costa's a great one. It's quite pricey. So if you haven't got the coins, I don't recommend it. Obviously... Every player would go up in price um, after the route of packs. It's just how it is on FIFA. But I'm just trying to recommend to you guys the best ones in my opinions. And for, for sure, if you have a low budget, Salvio. Elio would be a decent one as well if you have like a kind of like a middle kind of budget. And if you have a, a lot of coins, cost would be great. 
Parejo is a great one as well, but those are the best ones in my opinion. But you can see we've got Pogba here, and who also might get an upgrade, Rakitic and Cazorla, who are all like really good choices. But for me, I would probably say Salvio is the best out of the lot. He will easily reach the 30k and you'll be able to make a lot of profit off him. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget 100 likes for the next episode next week. Subscribe to Harps HD and I will see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.